share this wonderful recipe with you. And I know you guys will love it. All right, let's get the cooker on. All right, so. All right, we're gonna simple show you how to do this one, all right? Mackerel and rice. And it's a very unique recipe from Chef Ricardo. So, um, I'm gonna show you how to do this one. Mackerel and rice. So stick around, don't go anywhere. You're gonna love this one, guys. This one is gonna be something different. I'm gonna be giving it a little bit of tweaking though. Alright, so basically, I got white onion. It's a recipe which I want to share long, 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 long time. But I never get the chance to do it. Alright, so we're going to do it today. Alright, we're going to show you exactly how to do this one. So we got half a white onion into the pot. I'm going to show you what to do with it. I'm always wanting to share this recipe with you. But I never once get the chance to share this rice recipe with you. So let's do it now. All right. It's going to be super different. Um, yeah, I know I put some um, thing that oil in it, light spray oil. I'm going to put a pinch of olive oil, not much, roughly about a teaspoon of olive oil inside of it. All right. And now we're going to. Um, Put some bay leaf inside of it, all right? Got some bay leaf. So I want to give it this Incredible recipe today. Where something for you guys? I tell you, you guys will love this. All right. And the way I'm gonna do it, you guys gonna love it. Because I said to myself, I want to share this recipe with you. But I don't think I'm gonna be doing the whole full video because. But I will go do uh, roughly about ninety percent of the video. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, 90% of the video will be do for you. That's going to be a very long video. Alright, so it is mackerel and rice pot. In this pot today, going to be something different. You never met this before at home. Alright, mackerel and rice, we got that inside of it. Alright, let's get some um Alright, we got some fresh thyme. Piece of rosemary. And I'll put some cherry tomato inside of it, alright?
need to get some sweet corn. Sweet corn, guys. Trust me, um, it does much better. I try to not to use too much of the tin stuff. All right. Yeah, I try not to use. A lot of it, the thin stuff, you know? Wow, look at that. So we got a few ingredients in it. We got some basil. Mix herb. Yeah, girl, good morning. Um, Mitchibu and Chef Andre. See that? Look at that. Got some corn, sweet corn. Yeah, yeah, sweet corn, guys. So easy. Let's watch a chef recorder doing, man. I like to share new ideas with you, and it's it's good to learn.
All right, here it is. If you don't have one of these garlic press, you need to have one. They are so helpful in the kitchen. You know what I mean? You don't have to cut up your finger. All right, look at this. See that? They're on my website, chefricotta.co.uk. You don't have to cut up your finger. They just work so easy and simple. See that guys, look at that, that is amazing. All right, now this is the mackerel. If you got the Jamaican one, use it. All right, don't don't say anything. Just use it, the Jamaican one. All right, guys. And the Jamaican one is very good, but this one is also this one is a healthy one. All right. So two tins of mackerel, and then what you want to do? This one doesn't got this kind of bony thing and all them stuff there inside of it. This one is a different kind. So you want to fry it up like this. All right. Oh man, the scent is very high, you know. Marker the scent is high, it's way up in the sky. <laughs> it's really, really high. All right. So that's the way it look in the pot at the moment. Okay. So you mix the marker with all of your vegetables where you like to use. If you want to use mixed vegetables, whatever you like to use, you just use it. All right. So if you like to use anything you like to use at home, just use it and be happy. Okay? Yeah. So if you never do this before, it's something new for you to try at home, all right? And trust me, you will love it because it's good to try something different at home, all right? You can put... Um, vinegar stuff inside of it if you think it's a little bit too high for you and get rid of the, the scent of the all right lovely so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add some water to this All right, roughly about, I'm using some boiling water, roughly about, um, this will be um, roughly about two cups of water, because it's not a lot of rice, all right, so you don't need a lot of, um, so we're going to put some salt to it. All right. Let's taste this and see where we are. Wow. Let me see. Need some black pepper. All right. That is amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. So.
Um, just a tiny little bit more salt into it. Not much. All right. Yeah. Now, we have it on a medium size eat. All right. Yeah, we have it on a medium size eat. So that's looking good. All right, now, rice. Yeah, we need to get some rice, all right? So my rice, rough about two, two cups of rice. I don't measure guys when I'm cooking. I'm really sorry. Hot water. All right. That's the best way to wash your rice. Use some hot water. All right. That the hot water does kill the um. Kill that starch, get rid of the starch out of it. All right. So I'm just washing my rice, guys, with some hot water. Cool it down. And trust me, you will see the difference. Nice one. So that's what you want to do. Wash the rice with hot water two times, three times, and it's good to go. All right, we're going to put that rice inside of it. All right. So. All right. Now, as you can see, the water is so perfect into the rice. So. You don't need to um, add water or take out any water. That is perfect. All right. So basically, the rice is cooking like a jollof rice, but it's not jollof rice. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, it's a mackerel rice. All right. If you never know how I learned this recipe, I don't. Jamaican doesn't cook it this way. Jamaica cook the mackerel and separate that stuff. But this recipe, if you never see it where i learned this recipe from you would, you would never believe and i catch the recipe so perfect all right and you can add whatever you want to add to it you can add a lot of stuff to it you can add anything you want to add to it trust me you can make it easy. and it's just we just cook down so you just want to make sure it doesn't have um You have to make sure you don't have too much liquid into it, all right? Because you don't want the rice to be soggy. You want the rice to be like shelly. All right. It's just something different. If you want to try, if you want to try, guys, you can try. You don't have to cook this type of way the way I cook. But um, anyway, this is just a requested recipe from someone. Someone recipe this one. All right. But it's something different. If you are interested of cooking something different at home, then 
this is for you all right so you just don't want to make sure you have you don't want to be having too much water in the pot all right because it will be too soggy and you don't want that you want to be you know what i mean yeah perfect with it like so beautiful you know and i have it on a medium size eat cooking at the moment as you can see it for yourself that looking lovely cover it and you allow it for it to cook all right it's a, it's a beautiful recipe guys honestly it's so beautiful and it's so simple and also it's so delicious and i know you guys definitely can do this at home all right now let's get my back cooker on So I got it on a medium size eat. Yeah, medium size eat for it. Um, I got my back burner on at the moment, so I'm gonna do some vegetables. All right, um, vegetables over this side. All right, so vegetables will be in this pot right here. All right, such a nice one, guys. So we're gonna be doing some what? Broccoli? Yeah. This is my um, kiwi smoothie. I'm gonna drink. Mm -mm. Ah, that is amazing. Fantastic. All right, guys. It's so beautiful. And it's different. All right, now. Um, I have some, what's all this thing? This is my, um, so I'm gonna be doing some broccoli. All right. So if you like broccoli, trust me, this is what I'm gonna be doing right now, some broccoli into that medium sized pot. So remove off the bad stem them and, and get it prepped up. The rice one using it is basmatic rice so it's very easy to cook. So you can't have too much water in the pot because the rice is such an easy rice to cook. Basmatic rice is so easy, very, very easy. That is amazing. Now, so the broccoli, you want the water to be boiled up first. Just, oh, just make the water boil first before you put the, the broccoli in it. That's the way I don't mind. You can even season the water if you like. Add a few ingredients to it. Or you can just cook it naturally. Yeah, things looking good, to be honest with you. Things looking really nice. 
So yeah, it's just another day again in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo cooking. And what I'm gonna do now, as I said, it is on a medium size eat, all right? What you can do is just loose the pot and free it up, all right? So as you can see, that looking amazing, all right? And it got the big pieces them inside of it, so it's looking good. You do not want it to be um like to be honest, you do not want it to be to be sticky. You don't want to cook a sticky rice. That's not nice. You want it to be shelly and nice, alright? Yeah. Shelly and nice, that's the best way. Alright? Yeah, let's get Shelly and Nice. That's the new name. Shelly and Nice. So what we're going to do, we're going to seal it. All right, we're going to seal this. Now, when I was growing up in the Caribbean, I know my grandparents used to cook this kind of food, mackerel and rice, but they cook it the other way. Not this kind of way. But this way, you want to try this way. It's very, very delicious this way. Um, and now I'm going to cook this one for some youngsters. And they love it. They love this kind of rice when I cook it this way for them. So I just say, all right. Sometime when I'm doing this kind of video, I just share it with you guys. So I seal my rice. And I'm going to allow it for it to steam and cook. All right. That's the Jamaican old school style. A lot of people do this at home. Use clean flame. Some people use foil and wrap it and cover it. Some people use the clean flame like what I'm doing. Yeah. So that's the water for the broccoli. So I'm going to put my Broccoli them inside of it. Alright. Like this. Alright, look at that. Beautiful. You saw that nice? Yeah. Not gonna be overcooking them though, we're just gonna just give them a nice little cook and then they're good to go. Mm -hmm. As you can see for yourself, guys, I'm just loving it, that's the guys can see what I'm doing. Watch and chill and relax and take it easy, alright, guys? Beautiful. Now, Michibo, um, yeah, girl, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate your love, man. And everyone else who are watching and not saying anything, big up on yourself, all right? My respect goes for you every time, all right? Rosie, good morning. Thank you so much. Rosie Campbell, thank you so much for coming on the show, all right? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So, if you are watching and not saying anything, big up yourself, wherever you are at the moment. Thank you so much for the time, and I really appreciate it, all right? So, yeah, why not? Today is Thursday, and a lot of people at home right now, chilling, and, yeah, are, are just, just chilling, isn't it? Yeah, as normal. Yeah. Um, Bob here, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Yeah, girl, you're welcome, man. Thank you so much. Be careful of this when you're doing it at home, all right, guys? Because this is, if this burn you, trust me, it's not going to be nice, all right? So if, you have to be careful when you're doing this at home, all right? Don't be lingering around with it. If it, is, if it burn you, trust me, it's not going to be a good burn. It's going to be like, <laughs> your food always looking good. Nice and clean. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that. 
Okay, D, thank you so much for that. All right, guys. So as you can see, it is sweating and cooking and, you know what I mean, nicely and all sorts of stuff are going on right now. All right. So that's what's going on under the pot right now. But this right here, dust donut, um, use a hand and I move it around and I do all sorts of stuff because you do not want to get burned. Okay, you want to try and avoid getting that burn. All right. So just make it steam slowly and nice on a medium size heat. And that's the best way to do it at home. All right. So as you can see, the, this is the broccoli. You don't even want to overcook the broccoli. You just want to make sure them cook nicely. All right. That's how the broccoli them look. Beautiful and nice. No salt, just natural like that, alright? Simple. Gracie, thank you so much for coming on the show. Chef Andrea, good morning. Just thank you so much. All right, now the box stove can turn off. All right, we're gonna remove this one. God, this is ready, guys. This is the broccoli, and they are ready now. We're not gonna overcook the broccoli then because, you know what I mean? When I overcook broccoli, then it doesn't nice, man. So. So the broccoli is off. All right. Beautiful and nice, guys. Simple and also delicious. All right. Tell a friend. And a friend. Tell a friend. All right. So nice and delicious. Trust me. All right. So that's just teaming guys so you know what i mean if you want to try this method at home you can give it a try but you have to be careful okay most people use foil but i like to use a clean flame all right but if you want to try this method at home you can try it it's just steaming the rice cooking it the right way make it shelly and nice if you want to give it a try you can give it a try all right it's very easy and simple you know to do this one at all. Such a beautiful, simple one, guys, on a Thursday evening like this. Chef Andrea, thank you so much. Yeah, girl, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. appreciate you thank you so much for you know what i mean coming on the show this morning i got um i'm go i will be making this thing for you guys uh we call it rum uh, rum punch Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. So the rice is steaming. All right. Yeah. Abby, thank you so much. I could watch you all day. <laughs> you see, if you watch me all day, what's going to happen, now, Abby? You're not going to get to done your work for the day. <laughs> You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I need to go and clean my house. I need to do this. I need to do that. So it's not going to be a good one. <laughs> Um, Rita, thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Abby, you say I couldn't watch you all day, but um, you know, you're gonna have to do some work in the house and clean and cook some kids' dinner and uh, bits and pieces. But um, yeah, it's good to watch all day, but you know what I mean? One day I will be doing a video all day from in the morning till in the evening. I promise you I'm gonna do that one day. 
all right that's you can you know what i mean <laughs> you can sit back and just watching 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 and watching and watching and laughing and laughing and just keep laughing just cooking and eating and drinking all right yeah so that one will be coming very soon all right now to be honest with you guys you, you know what i mean i'm gonna um remove the clim flim to see what's going on just be careful when you're gonna do this all right if you want to do this at home, you can do it, but you have to be careful. All right. It's not an easy one, but just to remove it because, you know what I mean? It's getting late and late and late and late and longer and longer. And I don't want to be giant out the show. All right. Look at that now. So when I said steaming the rice, I mean like the rice is steaming. You know what I mean? And it's cooking and a lot of stuff is going on. So what you want to do? Just... Break it around from the side and just take your time and use the fork and just keep and shed it. And you know when you do it this kind of way, it doesn't burn up your grandma pot. You know what I mean? Because if you use a or if you use your mommy pot. This recipe right here, guys, if you never know where I get this recipe, you would never believe. Alright. And look how today I'm sharing the recipe with you guys. Alright. So you see what I say when the rice, so when the rice cool down now, it's gonna be more shelly. All right, as you can see it for yourself. So this is a one pot. If you know what is a one pot. One pot, you got everything together. All right, yeah. One pot, that's what happened right here. So as I can see for yourself, all right? That's looking good, guys. And it's, the rice is cooked, the rice is ready, as you can see it for yourself. You don't need to go any further. So this is a one pot when you put everything together and it cooked down like this. Yeah. So that is so beautiful. So beautiful and simple and delicious. All right. We've got, the, we got everything inside. I put some rosemary, got some bay leaf inside of it. Got a few stuff inside of it. We could put a lot more stuff, but I tried just to keep it simple because when you're cooking for certain kids, they not, may not want to um, eat it, all right? Yeah. So, but look at that. Amazing. And not only that, the pot doesn't butt up. What you expect, you know? The pot is pretty good. So, it's good. Now, the beautiful thing I want to say to you now, guys, I'm going to tell you the honest truth. I love one all, but you know what? I have to go. And that's the bad news. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and hope you guys have a beautiful day and I will definitely catch you with some more recipes. I got more ideas for you which I can share with you guys and I know you guys will love them. All right. Trust me because I wouldn't mind staying with you for the rest of the day, but um, definitely I have to go and do some more works and do some bits and pieces. But it was nice having you today. It was really, really nice having you guys and share this beautiful recipe with you today. Yeah. And thank you so much for your time watching my video all right um judy thank you so much for coming on the show we appreciate it d thank you so much and every one of you guys who have spent the time and watch this episode thank you so much have a beautiful thursday evening or thursday afternoon whatever time for you enjoy the beautiful evening and i will see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe bye-bye chef Andre, big up yourself